Running a successful business takes a lot of hard work, but when it comes to successfully marketing your business with AdWords, a little effort in the beginning can save you a lot of time and money in the future. So to ensure that your AdWords account turns into a strong marketing channel for your business, we recommend that you develop a well-organized account. So what does account structure mean, and why does it matter? By account structure, we simply mean grouping keywords and ads by theme or product. In other words, if you're selling shoes and shirts, you could have one group of keywords for shoes and another for shirts. There are many reasons why account structure can benefit your online advertising and make your life easier. The two main reasons are, first, Structuring your account by product, service, or theme allows you to create ads that relate to that theme or product. For example, for your group of keywords that focuses on shoes, you could create an ad that talks about shoes. And for the group of keywords that focuses on shirts, you could create an ad that highlights the shirts that you have on sale. And second, structuring your account will make it easier for you to manage budgets, bids, and make changes or view reports. So think of it like your closet. Rather than throwing everything onto one shelf, you would group your clothes by shirts, shoes, pants, and other, right? That makes it easier to pair and find things. So let's take a look at how you can organize your AdWords account. There are four main parts to your AdWords account structure. Those parts are campaigns, ad groups, ads, and keywords. Let's start by taking a look at campaigns. If your business offers a variety of products and services, or serves multiple types of customers, then campaigns allow you to categorize your products or services into broad groups. For example, if you have an online fashion store, you could have one campaign for shoes, one for shirts, and so on. You can even have campaigns for different promotions or regions of the world, like a summer promotions campaign, where you put all ads related to your summer promotions. Your campaigns can be as high-level or detailed as you want them to be. Whatever works for you. Next up are ad groups. Ad groups sit within campaigns, and they are exactly what they sound like. Groups of ads and their related keywords. Ad groups makes it easy for you to target your ads to specific customers. Just like campaigns, your ad groups will have a label that determines what kind of ads and keywords are stored inside. Take the shoes campaign, for example. You may create an ad group for moccasins, ballet flats, sandal, and more. Each of these ad groups will contain ads and keywords related to these products. Now that you have your ad groups, you're ready to create your keywords and ads. Take one ad group at a time and create a list of keywords that speaks to the product or theme. When you choose your keywords, make sure that all keywords within the ad group relate to the same product or theme. Like, in this case, moccasins. When you've selected your list of keywords, create a compelling ad with a call to action that speaks to the product or service. Now, every time someone searches for white moccasins or suede moccasins and your ad appears, it will speak to moccasins, what they were searching for. And this is it. All about campaigns, ad groups, keywords, and ads. Running your business is a full-time job, so spending some time bringing your account in order can save you not only time and money, but also allows you to closely match your ad to what potential customers were searching for. So log on and get organized today.